Today, plastics are creating a lot of problems for society. The world is getting washed away with plastic waste. Plastic pollution has become a critical environmental issue that we are facing presently. We are pleased to feature Mr. Alami Mirza Ahmad, who is the secretary for the Green Earth Society in Malaysia, who will talk on the criticality of plastic usage and its impact to human life. Hello everyone, my name is Alami Mirza and I am uh, from Green Earth Society and I'm their secretary and I'm going to talk about plastics today. So this is an issue that's very close to us. Recently, there was an article uh, of a scientific research saying that out of 22 adult men, 17 were uh, uh, were found to have bioplastics, uh, sorry, microplastics inside their blood. This is and this is an issue that is beca is becoming an environmental crisis, the environmental crisis that we call the plastic recycling crisis. This is because right now in Malaysia we are actually generating 30,000 tons of waste per day and can you imagine the amount uh, that we generate a year that is actually amounts to about 20 uh, sorry about 11 million kilogram uh, sorry tons metric tons per, day, uh, per year from that number can and um, from that number when 1 million and 70,000 tons actually comes from plastics from that amount of plastics actually can be compared to the height of the Empire State Building to the weight of three blue whales. This is why we are talking to you today. We as uh, Malaysians, we are actually only, um, the plastics that we generate are only recycling, uh, we are only recycling 9% of them. 12% goes to incinerators while the other 79% goes to the, to the environment. The amount of plastic that uh, that's being discarded um, actually uh, uh, and actually um, bioaccumulates in in the soil. This is because the the components of the plastic actually they have um, the fire retards the com uh, the compounds that actually have um, toxic heavy metals, which is which is cadmium. We as Malaysians do not really see um, plastics as a big issue because what we do, we have plastics and we throw it out. This attitude must change and this, and this uh, change must take action now. We are supposed to move towards um, a sustainable developed country. The Mal Malaysia has um, Pledge to be a sustainable develop uh, to to pledge to move towards the sustainable development goals by 2030. What we what we uh, however, the plastic recycling rate is a, is at a very low point this uh, at this time. Only 30 percent of all the plastic in Malaysia is being uh, is being uh, recycled, and these are the only the high quality plastics. When we talk about high quality plastics. Not even the locals are supplying them. It's, it comes from the international um, uh, international vessels. These international vessels actually create an economy worth about 30 billion ringgit. It's, uh, it's contributing to our economy. We, I believe that moving towards um, recycling, uh, uh, recycling uh, industrial plastics should also undertake the recycling of domestic plastics as well this is through the and the uh, uh, and the development of um, the factories that are uh, at this current time illegally operating there's uh, there's up uh, there's about um, sorry in in 20 2018 uh, sorry in 2019 the government and the minister of, uh, of environment actually sent back 150 containers of these plastics from the international suppliers but I think that we should take uh, while and uh, while this industry is already here we should actually whitewash them in uh, per, by the government as a policy to break out these illegal factories that are actually uh, per, they are actually money making and bring them towards um, uh, uh, per, bring them towards the 
correct zoning the and the the correct practices there are many complaints there are many examples of of illegal factories that are actually harming the environment harming the people through an uh, uh, burning of um, uh, of the plastics that are actually producing the volatile organic compounds that actually goes into your system and produce cancer and, and can cause cancer so moving forward from this we actually as a community need to see that our individual contribution towards the bigger picture of uh, of recycling is being uh, is being quantified and uh, is being quantified we are moving towards uh, biodegradable products composting it is not a small feat they there are examples that we can see in other countries like um, australia where a single mother actually helped to organize this kind of movement from composting and incorporate it into the daily um, school activities it can be done here we have so many amazing people that uh, that can spearhead uh, this community based programs and initiatives the government should identify this uh, this um, these projects and incentivize um, such programs and also encouraging them in uh, per, through the through the district education departments and um, ask them to uh, to replicate it wherever we can um, wrapping up I would like to make a plea to all of you with plastic in our fishes with plastic in our oceans with plastic in our blood i beg of you to move towards biodegradable and compostable products i beg of you that is all from me for my sharing today thank you everyone